Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Ala Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of medicine, Mansoura University. Let us try to answer some ASCII in obstetrics. Okay. Look to this picture, please, and identify A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. This is the first question in this picture. The second, what is the mode of delivery in C? And mention two expected complications. Okay, let us try to answer the first one. Identify A, B, C, and D. As you see, this is the uterus. And this is the placenta. This is a normal placenta. A, there is placental adhesion, what's called the placenta accreta. So A is placenta accreta. B, more penetration in the muscle wall of the uterus by the placenta. It is called placenta increta. C, the placenta invade the whole muscle wall and reaching the serosa and the surrounding of the uterus. So it's called placenta percreta. D is placenta previa complete centralis or, complice, or complete placenta previa. So again, A, placenta accreta, B, placenta increta, C, placenta percreta, D, placenta previa complete centralis, completely covering the internal artery. Okay, what is the mode of delivery in C? And they mention two expected complications. And see, this is the most dangerous type of placenta accreta spectrum, which is placenta percreta. Placenta percreta, what is the mode of delivery in this? And see, mode of delivery by elective cesarean section, which will be followed by mostly by structure. And mention two expected complications, of course, postpartum hemorrhage. Astrectomy, injury to the bladder during the operation. All these are complications that may happen with placenta per grid. Okay? And the astrectomy with all its complications. And the injury of the bladder because this placenta per grid may invade the bladder wall, so there is a possibility of bladder injury and the need for bladder repair. Let us go to the next. Look to this picture, please, and identify A and B. Then mention three complications during the pregnancy and what is the mode of delivery in this case. A and B. Look to this picture. A here placenta previa, complete centralis, or complete placenta previa. B is cephalic presentation, vertex presentation of the fetus. Mention three complications during the pregnancy. Antepartum hemorrhage, which is painless, causeless, and recurrent, and can be severe or moderate. Maybe. Okay, okay. What else? Prematurity. Need to do delivery early because of Severity of bleeding, intrauterine fetal death can happen. So, this is three possible complications, and also, of course, postpartum hemorrhage. Okay, what is the mode of delivery in this case? Elective cesarean section or emergency cesarean section if there is severe bleeding affecting the general condition of the mother or life is written. So, cesarean section is the mode of delivery in complete placenta review. Let us go to the next. Please log to this picture and identify A and B. Then mention four possible complications. As you see in the picture, this is 
placental abruption A is the placenta B is the hematoma formed by placental separation Placental abruption could be concealed accidental hemorrhage or revealed or mixed type in this type the, the blood is retained inside the uterus so this is called the concealed one so here is there is a placental separation and hematoma this is the placenta with separation and this is the hematoma this is placental abruption okay mention four possible complication intratrifecal death BIC acute kidney injury and part of hemorrhage post part of hemorrhage cobalary uterus all these are complications to placental abruption what are the etiology the commonest etiology is hypertension with pregnancy or preeclampsia short umbilical cord trauma to the abdomen like motor car accident or whatever folic acid deficiency smoking all these are etiologies for placental abruption but the commonest is hypertension and preeclampsia this is the end of this ASCII. Thank you, everybody. To find more ASCII quizzes and lecture in OB Guide, you can find it on my site here on YouTube. I write it in a comment. Also, you can find my box published on Amazon through this link on Amazon and put it also in another comment. Thank you, everybody. My best wishes for all of you.